Ja, klar, gerne. Gäste. Einen wunderschönen guten Tag. Hey, ne? Hey, hier ist einmal kurz so. Oh, erstmal die Dame. Zack. Zack. Nee, nee, so. Zack. 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 Und die Damen kriegen immer noch den Kopf. Oh, cool, man. Hello. Hi. Ja, like a secret handshake. Ja. Yeah. Ich <lacht> habe es verabschiedet für die Kampagne hier. Um, You're the Baumhaus crew, right? Yeah, the Baumhaus crew. Man. Okay, I've yes. seen that on Facebook. <laughs> uh, and I'm really not 100% sure what you're exactly doing. So yeah. let's take a seat, or do you, would you want us to start yes. sta uh, standing? Well, we, we actually brought some, we brought some fun stuff for you. Okay. How about you and I go sit down on the couch, and Karen's going to set up a game. So we brought Sounds a game perfect. for you. So, hey, hey Sponge. SpongeBob. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you do me a big favor? Because I, there's so many names you see that uh, people are coming by, and I'm really like the, my my name storage is definitely overloaded. Yeah. So can you write down your name on the wall first somewhere like sure. with your yes. project, and then I can always look, take a small look to the side if I forgot your name. That would be brilliant. Okay. Do cool. Uh, I give you a that. pen. Here. So I do that. Sounds very interesting. I saw the. Uh, let's take a seat. Uh, I saw the. Um, Uh, wait a second, I'm going to give you this. Okay. Yeah, I saw the like um, Mike. Mikey Mike. The YouTube video um, on the founding platform. Yeah. And um, it really looked like a fantastic, fantastic, um, fantastic project that you're planning there. Yeah, thanks, man. Also, um, tschüss, mach's gut, wa? Ciao, Bis dann. ciao. Bis morgen oder wann auch immer. It sounds like a fantastic. Um, fantastic project that you're planning and uh, I'm not 100% sure how to build a Baumhaus in a closed room but I'm sure you can tell me this. I will reveal all secrets to you today. Okay. You will know more than I do okay. by the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> start start with the, with the <laughs> Am I most... Am I interviewing you or maybe huh? interview me? Huh? Should I interview me? You want this thing? Oh no, we're both mic'd, right? So we don't need that yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, you have a mic? I got a mic, ah, man. Cool. Ah, oh, you don't have a mic. So you have a mic. Have a mic. Well, you have good. a mic as well. Yevgeny, why do I have a microphone? That's for the next guy. Okay. Um... Have they called? For whom? Do I need it? Now, not. Okay, thank you. Um... A Baumhaus in einem Raum. A Baumhaus is in English Baumhaus as well? Treehouse. Treehouse. A treehouse in a room. Yeah. I mean, from point of view of a, a fantasy point of view, it makes totally sense, or nothing else makes sense than a treehouse in sure, a yeah, really closed doesn't. room. <laughs> <laughs> from the point of view, from the point of view that that we are living in a world where we have Nobel prizes for people that that bring up stuff that makes sense for other people's in science, mm -hmm. you need to explain it to me again. Okay. Right? Um, we, our whole deal is that we want to try to find ways to bring people together mm -hmm. to engage with, with each other in meaningful mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And it's even better if we can bring people together to think about what it is that we can do to improve our little world. Mm -hmm. Either our little mm -hmm. neighborhood, uh, or Berlin, mm -hmm. or ideas that can spread globally and mm -hmm. be cool. Because okay. I mean, what else are we going to do? Look, everything's under pressure right it's now. It's pure right? Berlin, what, you, what you're telling yeah, me. It's I mean, all Berlin, right? It's, it's, huh? Yeah. It's a, that's why we're here. We're yeah. here because this is the city of initiative. Yeah. This yeah. is the place where you can come yeah. and make your dreams come true. Yeah. Or if they have yeah. an idea, you yeah. can try it here. It's yeah. still possible. Yeah. Like this. This is dope. Feel free to, to hang it up wherever you want to. Um, I thought about that corner. What about the door? Yeah, I'm going to remove. No, I'm going. Let, let's remove this because yeah. uh, this is something I want to keep personally anyway. Okay. Um, we had a crazy photo shoot yesterday with Esther Perban. Yeah, who's that? Uh, she's a fashion designer from Berlin, and it was really freak show. Uh, and Oliver Oliver Rand took the photos. It was really crazy. Ah, cool. Uh, all right. So bringing people together, um, combining new, uh, combining ideas. Yeah. Uh, creating something new. Mm -hmm. uh, how far did you, from how far did you came to Berlin? Did you come to Berlin? I'm from New York, to, man. New York? Yeah. Where about New York? Brooklyn. Really? Yeah. I've been there twice. Yeah. It's an amazing yeah. place as well. Hey, you, you ever been to Dumbo? Huh? You know Dumbo? Uh, what? Dumbo. 
Down, down under the, Manhattan saw, Bridge, over. Ah, okay, Paris. okay. Uh, yeah, I thought the, the elephant. Um, that's what it yeah, sounds like. That's yeah. the whole point. Um, uh, yeah, as I, I mean, I crossed the. You don't mind if we like feet kiss here? We're just kind of like it's going to happen. It's okay. You know? All right, that's cool. It's okay. Right, comfortable. Okay. Like, we had a guy, uh, Shamari Rocker, here yesterday. He was singing. Great. He was singing like crazy, crazy voice. Very nice. Very. The guy with the hat. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, it was, good. Saw that. He it was, was good. He was fantastic. He was talking about New York as well, yeah. and about sitting. And he said, "This is a gay. This is this w is a gay way of sitting." But I don't. I just think it's comfortable. Yeah, that's what I think too, man. Okay. Yeah. It's, you know, it's and human. Yeah, and I think, human. I think right. human. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> two men. So two anyway, men. here let me go back to this thing. I'll tell you about yeah. you want yeah. to know about the treehouse yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Okay. How do you build a treehouse inside? Mm -hmm. Where did it come to that? We want mm -hmm. to bring people together. What's what a treehouse is about? It's about bringing kids together. All everybody pools all the resources, mm -hmm. right? And they build some place that they can use and do mm -hmm. some have some fun in and mm -hmm. all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well. We got this room in this place below where we live that has four meter sixty high ceilings. Mm -hmm. It's super. That's another what do we have here? Maybe three. That's like three fifty. Yeah, three fifty. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so imagine another meter mm -hmm. high, mm -hmm. right? And it has a big column okay. in the middle. Okay. So what do we do with the column? Okay, it's just like it's a big square column. Okay. It's huge. Okay. Eighty by eight. It's almost a, it's okay. like. Burr, 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 okay, so it's already burr. already kind of a tree. Yeah, exactly. That. That's the point. So you look at this space and you say, look, you're going to be in this dramatic space, but it's got this giant thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it's either an eyesore or you can make it into the jewel. Mm -hmm. And how do you make it into the jewel? You make it what it naturally wants to be. Mm -hmm. And what do we have? It's the advantage of the space, vertical space, mm -hmm. second level. We get an upper second level. Treehouse. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So I'm living in Berlin. Where, where shall it be exactly? In Vedding. Uh, in Vedding? Yeah, really close to Esmond okay. Vedding. Okay. So I live in Berlin. I work for uh, I work for a company. I live in a room for eight days in a live stream. And besides this, I spend my spare time on the weekends with going to food market and uh, mm -hmm. uh, having dinner with friends. Yep. So in where in this life that I just described do I go to the bomb, to the treehouse place? If you ever want to go and meet. New interesting people. If mm -hmm. you want to go to walk into a place mm -hmm. and feel free to walk up and sit down next to any people mm -hmm. and just walk up mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. and be engaged and, mm -hmm. say, and have them say, "Oh, hey, mm -hmm. come on in." What? Okay, that's the place to do it. So it's a very, very. So it's it's a spirit that you want to uh, that you want to transfer with the place. Yes, because what we want to do is we want to encourage people to work on ideas mm -hmm. and projects that make the world a better place. Do you do that? Um, Actively, or is it just a spirit that you spread? That you no, want to spread with the place? No, we do it actively. We do. So you, you I've been doing this like for years. I've been doing stuff like this for okay. years okay. and years and okay. years. Okay. So can you give me an example? Um, what like do you have? Pro do you run projects with project groups, or because what what I don't get 100% what, uh, mm. but what I think it's really interesting because I mm. love it and I live my life like this is how is it possible to to bring people or to create a situation where people start to work and talk and be together that people that don't know each other okay, i mean i great. think we're we're pretty pretty good in this in berlin mm -hmm. but um this would this, this would be interesting okay. for me this is the science of it right mm -hmm. here we try to develop um uh, content mm -hmm. that appeals to some basic fundamental human needs that mm -hmm. are universal mm -hmm. to us mm -hmm. all right like for instance the need to play and to have fun Boom. Is that a basket? That's a basket. That's a basket. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what we got? We got balls. balls. <laughs> nice. And what kind of balls? Uh -huh. <laughs> three balls? No. Yeah, man. Three balls. Three balls. Nice. You can throw these in here and you don't wreck the cameras and everything, right? Ah, we, we're perfect. watching you, dude. You're all, you're all caged up, huh? man. You're all caged up in here. You're like, no, I'm you... not caged up. I'm yeah. here. My, it's my free wit. No, okay. The only well, I mean, like, dude, you got you to get huh? sweaty, man. You can do some action. <laughs> right? You good at shooting? Mm, let's figure it out. All right. I mean, you can get some action shots. So you can throw this right at the camera. Huh? Yeah, this is this is. Is that thing pretty stable? Yeah, they can make it slow mo. If you just okay. throw it, and they make it slow mo. <laughs> oh man, this will change my life. That's what I'm saying, man. What's it is that like? working? Well, we're gonna find out, man. Okay. Because, look, this is the best thing. I love doing this. You ever sit like when you're a kid and you like just 
sit on your bed and you bounce the ball mm -hmm. off the wall. Yeah, I know that from, uh, honestly, I know that from my life <laughs> before, before I've been in here <laughs> as well. <laughs> Not only from my, from my childhood. Um, There's nothing like this. I mean, and, and we got some bunch of stuff because we, now we made up a game that we thought would be pretty cool. But like we gave you a bunch of stuff so you can make up your own games too. Like, oh, that's fantastic. All right. All right. So. Okay. Is the basket there? All right. Here we go. Oh, Ooh. close. Close, Ebu. Hey, maybe you want to put some nails in? Yeah, we should put some nails in. But oh, ah. nice shot though. Oh man, so you can do this forever. Oh. I bet a bank shot would work. No, that's pretty flat. Yeah. Oh, close. Fuck. You take three in a row. That gets some continuity. Yeah. That's what we want. Oh, that's good. Here, let me do this real quick. I think you got that's too flat on there. I think we, gotta, we have to adjust the situation, huh? Like the flat, you made it too elliptical. Uh, okay. oh, Come on, you can, you can hit a Dude, elliptical thing. I think thing. like this is okay, yeah? Huh? That's okay? Oh, that's on there. That's not going anywhere. That doesn't need any nails. Jeez Louise. Oh, there you go. You got it, man. That's good. I think we got something happening there. Yeah! Did you get it? <laughs> got it! Oh, I missed it! Oh, oh, two in a row! Oh. <laughs> man! Nice, man. Dig. So you gotta get the continuity. Huh? You get your stroke, you get your stroke, right? Okay, now we do it. Like every, everyone, three each. All right. If uh, for everyone that you don't don't hit, ten sit-ups. We could do that too, but you want to hear how we were set up the game? Yeah. Okay. If you get if you make a basket, yeah. Then you get to so grab a question. Okay. Okay. And these are clever, intriguing questions, man. Okay. Things that people want to know the answer to and okay. share and blah blah blah. Right? Okay. So what you did? You got like made like uh, what? Two baskets. Here's the cards. Okay. I don't take a look at them. Don't take a look at them. Okay. And you pick out of here. Go ahead and grab a couple of cards. Okay. Right. So, if it, if like, how's the game going? If the I, game is you made two baskets. You yeah. get two cards. You get two cards now. Okay. Grab two cards. What do you like to teach the most and why? Was würdest du gerne anderen beibringen und warum? <laughs> After the last two days, uh, I have to admit that I recognize that I have to learn so much <laughs> in my life <laughs> that I'm, I'm going to stop teaching things to others and trying to learn a couple of more things before I'm going to teach stuff to others. Beautiful. Uh, That's so wisely yeah. said. Yeah. That you should write that down on a speech bubble. Okay. A brilliant thought, a brilliant idea, and then put that up on here. And you can. Uh, we 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 experimented with this, and like you okay. know, three of these together actually makes up a nice thing. Okay. So you know. Do you want to introduce yourself, or do you need? No, we need some more time. We need some more time. Okay. I think. Okay. We're just getting kind of. Yeah, I can get time. Okay, it's yeah. okay. cool. So. I'm going to break it down to something that's uh, more readable for the right. people, maybe. You can do that. I'm going to try so to shoot some. Where's I'm the going ball? to write it, it down as... shots in here, honey? Thanks. Okay. Learn more. Oh, man, I First. don't have a good... See, so this is also a bit like uh, what we call... Um, yeah, what uh, we want to do in the space because we think, okay, we have a space where we want to have like social media, mm -hmm. but like in a uh, real life space. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit like a, a live chat mm -hmm. that we have okay. here where we write our yeah. thoughts down, document them, right. and can share uh, them better. Where's the right. tape? So the first thing is. Yeah, you got um, tape, honey? Yeah, we have we tape right there. there it is. And you put um, a tape loop on the back so it looks nice. Yeah. Um, so oh, I'm learn, with this. learn more first. Oh, oh. I mean, learning is exhausting, but it makes sense, Maybe I guess. Point land. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, that was close. Oh, man, you are good. You must have played uh -huh. hoops or something. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, that's the thing. Who that... would you most like to punch and why? Wen würdest du am wahrscheinlichsten schlagen und warum? 
Shortly after I met Rambo, <laughs> the answer is obviously the guy who's responsible for the, uh, for, the, for the fact that Rambo was here. Oh, look at so that. Rambo's manager. Right. Because Rambo's Rambo is man. a nice guy, but... Uh, so... Did oh. he slap you, man? Rambo... That must have hurt. He's a big guy. Man... Uh, Joe. Have you seen him? That's the guy in the restaurant. Yeah, dude, we right? saw yeah. him punching you. Uh, yeah. uh, it looked like it hurt. That was like the only thing that is nice there is I didn't I don't have to to play that it hurts. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right? Most of the time when you have something a situation like this, you're like, all right, now now act like it, it hurts. And uh, this was not the case, but besides this, all right, uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go from here. All yeah. right, how many did you? Right? Like none. I'm, see, that's none. what I'm saying. I'm really bad at this. Like you know, I gotta. I have yeah, a, I, I know because make one. you don't want to answer the questions. No, I do want to answer the question. I actually answered one already. I picked one to answer just in case. Oh come on! I just think, okay, give me. I, I would take two more shots. One of these is gonna go in. I'm too hot. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, man. No, you... So I'll do a fresh one. Okay. Oh wait, here no. I'll, I'm gonna save some time. I did one like right here, right here. You go. Here's a here's a card. Okay. Okay. What does groovy mean to you? Was bedeutet groovy für dich? And my answer was, something is groovy when it flows nicely and makes your head bob in an easy rhythm like this. You know, like a good bass line from a Booker T and MGs song. Groovy is an easy going state of mind. Right, so it goes up. Where's the third one? Is it already lost? I mean, can't be too far away, huh? Yeah, those things are everywhere. But anyway, that's the way this thing goes. Now, here's the cool you... thing. These questions, maybe you yeah. can just ask people on yeah. the Facebook and yeah. they can answer them. You can yeah. get a million things, a million Absolutely. feedbacks I'm going, let back, me, let right? Me try, let me try to um, throw another re, uh, row of three and then we ask the people the questions for the three. Whatever. It will be. This, this is a crazy form. I don't think I ever did this one before. That's a trip, man. Ah. All right. And then I say it's about time to hmm? get our other guests in. Yeah, huh? sure, man. Hmm. Yeah, but you, gotta, you gotta get some play in it. Huh? Come on, give me one more. Yes! yes! Woo! All sure. right, so this is a question for the Facebook users. Facebook users. Who was the most res uh, who has the most respect for you? Wer hat für mich uh, für dich den meisten Respekt? Who has most respect? Bert für dich den meisten respect. So who, who do you respect mostly? Or well, no, what who has most respect? There's two questions. I'm yeah. not sure which one you had. Who, is the, who do you know that has the most respect for you? Ah, okay. And who do you respect the most? Okay. So what is your Facebook group uh, group name? Or uh, uh, do you have Baum a Facebook? House? At Baumhaus? Yeah. Rennhofen? Ba no. No, Baumhaus, no, just, uh, I think just Baumhaus Berlin. Berlin there it is, yeah. yeah, that's it. So Baumhaus Berlin, right, yeah. I'm going to do it in German. Okay. Fragt, um, so, wer, I'm going to say like, who, who's respecting you the most yeah. in your life? Exactly. Yeah, I think this is a very inspiring think? question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wer respektiert euch am meisten in eurem Leben? All right. Ich werde dann später reingucken. I'm going to take a look at it and going to uh, write down the uh, three uh, most inspiring answers and put it up there. Boom. And there's a million, there's, there a, there's, like, there's like 30 questions. Yeah. They're all different. Yeah. Okay. So you get nice. the idea. Getting people to like reflect and engage mm -hmm. in interesting ways. Okay. That's how one way that we can make the world mm -hmm. a better place is by being more conscious of each other and yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And have fun. Really, yeah. It, it, makes, it is big it fun. Sense. I have to admit, it is really big fun. It makes. I mean, I love balls and I love questions, so it's a good combination of, of things and uh, uh, be careful with I don't want to hit. Um, and I really want to, tr I'm really going oh, to try to do you oh, right. Right. <laughs> So wait, so check it out. All right, and so here's the thing, you can tell your buddies, your pals, yeah. right? Yeah. See these cards? You leave here? that here? Yeah, that's stuff nice. for you. This nice. is for you. You, nice. got all, you got a whole kit here, right? Nice. You got white pencils, yeah. you got colored pencils, Woo. you got everything, right? And this, nice. this right here, nice. yeah. This is the this is the aesthetic for the Baumhaus that we're mm -hmm. gonna build, right? Look at that. Oh, wait a second. All right, that's made by this guy named Isaac Abrams, who's the godfather of psychedelic art. And what that is, <laughs> is it's it's sandblasted glass, 
and it's super organic. Mm -hmm. So when we build the bomb house, the idea is to build this place in that style, which is going to look like Gaudi meets Lord of the Rings meets Avatar. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a totally a fantasy space and full of high art. This guy has had his work in like the major galleries all around the world, mm -hmm. and he's a living legend, and he's here today, and you're going to get to meet him. Really? Yeah. All right. Absolutely. And we're going to show you some pictures of his stuff. Hey, Karen, will you grab, will you grab Isaac? Yes. Okay. Here, Isaac, check. yeah? Yeah, man. You can swap the, swap the mic out. Oh, really? How nice. Uh, and here. Hey, man, can Hello. I surf around Isaac. in your jammy? Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello, nice to meet you, too. Good, I Can I ask you to, like, this is for me, it's Joskowitzhausen. I call it Joskowitzhausen, it's my last name. And I always do a greeting like this. Tack, tack. There you go. How do I do this? Tack, tack. No, 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 it's with the... F Thank you very much. Hey, babe. Where are you from? I'm from New York and Woodstock. And, and Woodstock? Woodstock, yeah. Like, yeah. born in New York, uh, raised in Woodstock? No, 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 born in New York, raised in New York, lived in Woodstock, lived in New York, lived here and there, lived in Mexico, lived in... Vienna, okay, let, let's go to the places where you where you have. Hey, you guys sit down. I'm gonna go over <laughs> Is here. Is that easier? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get some pictures. Okay. Yeah. Can you <sighs> maybe let me make sure that we, yeah we're oh, both right. in there. No, yeah. Okay. Right. How do I? Hey, uh, Janos, How do we get the thingy on here? How do I? I uh, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. I'm going to that you can log in. You right. want to log into your account? Just go, you can just go to fa the uh, our Facebook Baumhaus Berlin Facebook thing. Okay. But what what do you want to do with the? I want to show some pictures of his okay, work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you, so people right. can see. Yeah. It. Just go here. There's the. When it's a touchpad without a mouse, Got just it. feel free to touch it. Can so I talk to this? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. I think I want to talk about the psychedelic revolution in the 60s, because I realize I come, I talk about art, I mm -hmm. make art, and mm -hmm. art is a wonderful thing. But then I realized, I, 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 like I was on a, a, a council or a, a group of people the other night, mm -hmm. and uh, we were talking about uh, Berlin and the exciting possibilities in Berlin. And to tell you the truth, it reminded me of the 1960s. Yeah? Yeah. So I thought I'd tell you what we were doing, aside from, well, no, I won't say aside from, we were doing a lot of acid, a lot of stuff like that. Okay. Because we arrived at a time before the world started to, uh, you know, look like it was dying, and mm -hmm. it was not dying, it's just changing. The and Second World War? Or I was born before the Second yeah. World War. Yeah? Yeah, 1939, really? yes. I can't believe but it. But I wasn't in it, I didn't fight in it, and I wasn't in Europe, thanks God, okay. right? Yeah. Or else I wouldn't Me be too. Yeah. But uh, in the 60s, we had the war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And in America, whenever we have a war, everything gets loose. Mm -hmm. The skirts mm -hmm. get shorter, mm -hmm. the women get more hot, yeah. know, and so on. And we had... Because there were less men that they have to, to fight for? Or? Or uh, I think it's the government. The government raises the skirts, so people will forget about how stupid the war is. Really? Sure. Is that do you, so? You would you say? Do you know Jersey Shore? I know. Or oh, have you heard of Jersey yeah, Shore? Sure. So would you say like Jersey Shore is the result of the Iraq War? Yes, partly. <laughs> Definitely, because in Vietnam. That explains explains Vietnam, something. <laughs> the, the, the skirts got so short okay. they were up to here. Okay. I, I think you got your. But this way, uh, see. That was what was happening. Oh, this? You that, can use this one. That's the because one this using. is one with the uh, with the. the oh, right the, on, man. Is on. Here, you want to yeah, take, just, you yeah. take that one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. Okay. What happened all at once? It's, let's say it's 1966. Mm -hmm. We had the sexual revolution. Mm -hmm. We had the birth control pill. Mm -hmm. We had LSD. How does this one work? Jeez, a war, see. and there was no AIDS, and there was no herpes. Okay, okay. so so everything. Without was, the war, it sounds like uh, Alice in Wonderland. It was better than Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> and we and I think they gave us the LSD and the sexual revolution to make us not think about the war, but it didn't help them, because what happened was in this after '66, '67, what would happen is what we would we would actually we as not me and many maybe mm -hmm. of fifty or hundred other people. Mm -hmm would bring LSD to college campuses. Okay. We would go, we would talk about it, and everyone would get excited, and the next thing you know, there would be LSD on the college campuses. Okay. And two, three weeks later, everyone would be out demonstrating against the war. Everyone would be fucking <laughs> so under short? the trees. Huh? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> so short, like two or three weeks. Absolutely. Okay. Didn't take long. <laughs> You know, because it was just that quick. Okay. You know, so we could hit campuses one by one by one. So we mm -hmm. could do one mm -hmm. a month. So we managed to turn on like 300 campuses that year. Okay. And that was what we did. That was our revolution. And so we decided, we decided that uh, some people said we're having a revolution. Okay. You know, it's always somebody wants to be part of it. So yeah. That's good. Yeah. There they yeah. are. I know them, they're friends of mine from Frankfurt. Oh, good. They're very adorable. Yeah, they bring... Okay. Anyway, they have they have color and oh, careful! Whoa. Oopsie. See what they did. Nothing happened, huh? So that was What's the psychedelic the revolution, and then I, I but I, uh, hey, I see this thing that? happening in that? Berlin. Yes. yes. And there's the same feeling in a way. Okay. And I have to say that revolutions are easy to start in a way, mm -hmm. but they're hard to keep going long enough to affect the kind of change people mm -hmm. imagine mm -hmm. that is happening. And so, I think it's very encouraging to see people having some positive attitudes. But. Okay, but let's let's talk. It was 1966, and you said it, it went quite fast that you uh, you could uh, establish a revolution quite fast. So now, like 40 years, more than 40 years later, where what would you say? Where where does this revolution ended up finally that you started these days? Well, what happened was, of course, it's in America. Cheers. America is a media shock. Mm -hmm. Every, everything. Come in. Okay. She's doing some carpentry. It's one of her hobbies. Very everything good. comes. It's it's the media takes it. Mm -hmm. The media builds it up, and then the media knocks it down, and mm -hmm. they introduce a new product. Mm -hmm. So first they had the psychedelic revolution, and then they had the psychedelic devolution. Mm -hmm. They suddenly just, they, then they just started running stories about people jumping out of windows mm -hmm. and trying to fly, and then mm -hmm. they made everything illegal, and then they started arresting people and putting them away from jail for 10 years, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you know? And then they had something else, you know, after the psychedelic revolution, then they had the women's liberation immediately came. Okay. You know, and then there was the next thing that came, and the next thing, and so people, got into it, and then it was declared, well, that's last year. We're not interested in it anymore. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. This is what the people can see uh, if the, the tech dudes do this it, it online. This is a think they image do it. of a glass design that I'm doing mm -hmm. for Scott Bolden mm -hmm. and for the uh, Baumhaus. Mm -hmm. I'm doing, uh, I think, 10 panels. They're made of glass like this, thick glass. Oh, can I see yeah. it live? Ooh. And after the, what you see there, wherever you see black is where the glass gets sandblasted. Yeah, it gets this is just away. sandblasted. Yeah, it's sandblasted. But do you do it on your own, or is that? No, that's... we're going to work with some people here okay. who do work for so you did... industry. And I can, mm -hmm. what I do is I work with people in industry. I don't mm -hmm. work usually with the. That's what's going to. You aren't fine like that. Detail. With the people mm -hmm. with the. These panels are huge. Okay. It's three Scott. and a half meters How? by two meters. Oh, really? Yeah, he's doing three and a half meter by two meter detailed installation that looks okay. like this. All right. I mean, I just have a small example here, but it feels really, really massive already. Yes. I imagine it's two and a half meters by three and a half meters. Something like that. It's getting... Um, I work very quickly. I've been I think, doing... I've I think it, take, it needs your, your inner, inner silent uh, that you're spreading here, which is quite nice for me to sit next to you because you're not so... Uh, uh, agitated? Yeah, what is it? Agitated, but not so... Uh, like all the people that are coming in are like bringing lots of, uh, lots of power in here and everything. And you, you bring a certain, certain like a... Keysmith. Yeah, yeah, then Whirlpool, then Whirlpool, and Whirlpool. Yeah, groovy, yes. groovy, yeah, groovy. Man, I'm, I'm actually what and you call cool. Cool, yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. I've been cool for long <laughs> before you were born and don't worry about it. I was born, I was cool when I was 16. When I was 50, uh, almost 58 years ago, or 57 years ago, I was cool. Yeah. I was going to jazz clubs in the city and I was meeting uh, people like you. Dizzy Gillespie and I watched Monk and all these guys play and I was cool. You were still, you In the still. 1950s. Still. Uh, yeah, well being cool is very cool, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. what's cool is always, cool, you know. And, uh, well, what I'm saying about the revolution, people say, oh, we're going to change everything. And I said, you're not going to change everything, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. We're going to get high. We're going to dance. But do you, think, do, you think, do you think every revolution needs, needs a drug? Because, you know, 
I mean, it's nice. It sounds, uh, it sounds nice. You took LSD, and I never took LSD, so I don't know how how it feels. And uh, and I'm pretty sure, from what I heard about it, it's inspiring. But at the same time, I mean, um, wouldn't it be nicer to start a revolution like we have it? For example, I see it in the in the Arabic world at the moment, uh, where it's based on social media uh, a lot, on, on, on more on spirit than on on substances. Well, it's based on what you call consciousness expansion. Okay. The word psychedelic is a Greek word, or it's an invented word from the Greek, mm -hmm. which means consciousness expansion, mm -hmm. alteration in the way people see things and they think. Mm -hmm. That's what revolutions are. Okay. The LSE was a direct type mm -hmm. of consciousness expansion okay. in a world that had come through a war, great deal of disorder, entered into a 20-year period from, say, 1945 to 1965, where everything was very stable, mm -hmm. very locked up. Mm -hmm. Women were put back in long dresses mm -hmm. and everything like that was very tightened up and very, mm -hmm. very, very, very tightened mm -hmm. up. Subsequently, subsequently things got more loose. Mm -hmm. And the LSD was almost like a, a, an explosive kind of re, a, a reaction and it just broke open the dam you know, and it broke and it was like the water poured out of the human souls and so mm -hmm. there was a mm -hmm. flood. Yes. And I can see what you're saying that um, about, say, the uh, social media. Awesome. Yeah. Not something I do a lot mm -hmm. because it's really something that I have so much to do with my art mm -hmm. and, and my work in my art that I don't want to mm -hmm. uh, spend a lot of time on a computer. Yeah. I, I've done computer animation and, and stuff like that. I won some kind of prize in Japan. But basically, physically, I find that too much of the energy goes up, 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 and it's all up here. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm much more a What do you have in your hands? Or in I like to, I work with my hands, yeah. and I work standing up when I'm, uh, and sitting down, standing up, getting up, moving, twisting, mm -hmm. whether it's cutting the masks for the mm -hmm. glass, or whether it's painting mm -hmm. or sculpting. And so my whole body and my whole skin, my whole surface in my body, the, my hair, Everything is like conscious. Every mm -hmm. cell in my body was uh, is conscious, and that's one of the things I think that the psychedelics were very good for. But mm -hmm. they have to be used in an intelligent way, okay, and in a way that relates to the twenty-five thousand-year-old tradition mm -hmm. of using psychedelics. And okay, when I, when I went to the caves in France, where they painted the caves twenty-five thousand mm -hmm. years ago, very clearly I knew that the people in them use those caves as multimedia environments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they went in there and they ate mushrooms, mm -hmm. which they knew about. And they went in there and they hummed and made noise and made mm -hmm. sound and singing. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they had the flickering lights from the oil, little, mm -hmm, little mm -hmm. stone things with the mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. the animal fat and they'd make a flickering light. And so that light is going like this and the animals are on the walls and you're high on mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know, but I, it sounds funny. Let me say what ends up happening is the, mush, the, the walls of those caves, those animals start coming through the walls. Mm -hmm. They already are painted in such a so way. So it's like the first 3D movie. Very. <laughs> really. Actually, it's about 7D. 7D. Or 8D, or maybe 70D. Who knows? Well, like you know, 1D plus. 1D plus. It's Peter, D, name it right? 1D plus. Right. It's, it's that D plus. And there you go, D, 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 D. <laughs> And you know, and, 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 and some, some, I had a psychedelic trip once where I, did, I, I had never taken this stuff, and it was from Africa. And I stood up; I, nothing was happening. And I said to the guy who gave it to me, "Nothing is happening." And I stood up, and when I stood up, my body went zoop, 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 like a telescope opens, okay. boom, 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 okay. boom, boom. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I went out of my body till my head was against the ceiling. Okay. And then I said, "I think we should go back to your house." Okay. And I go back to his house, and I walk out, and the doorknob, which yeah. is the, the knob on the door, I look, it's beautiful, and it's shining, and it's gold, and I go like that, it isn't there, it's on the other side okay. of the door. Yeah. Okay. And then we walked up to the big street, and we couldn't agree what we saw. Was it really a rainbow-colored bus? Was guy, you know, you know, yeah. elephants or whatever? So we, we managed to get across the street, and then I laid down, and I fell into my head. Okay. And that was the kind of thing. I think these yeah. these experiences are very useful. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know that um, 
a revolution, you must have mm -hmm. psychedelics. Mm -hmm. I think they would help. Mm -hmm. I think using things like mushrooms, which are very healthy mm -hmm. and they're natural, and if you get the right ones, which is a good idea, I think that they're, they're very good learning experiences, and yeah. I think particularly <clears throat> in relationship to nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I also I think what you need to have need spaces where people can yeah. meet and come together. Okay. Like uh, you talk about the uh, revolution in the uh, Middle East, and you had spaces where people could meet and talk, and so also like Baumhaus is going to be yeah. a space that's about people getting together, like a real public space. So for the kids out there, like eat lots of champignons. <laughs> get get the mushrooms on your pizza if you order the next pizza, and then go straight away to wedding to Baumhaus. Uh, they don't Actually, do do, what you should do is well, I have go to the Baumhaus in order to externalize yeah. and concretize and make concrete the psychedelic experience. Okay. That's why I'm doing the glass there because mm -hmm. it is going to be something mm -hmm. that is a it is a concrete form mm -hmm. of the psychedelic experience. That's Meeting in large like. groups of people is a good thing, but not necessarily when you're high on psychedelics. Mm -hmm. I think the best place to do psychedelics is in the country, and then go to the city and bring that awareness of your natural self mm -hmm. into your social self. Okay. And combine the social self mm -hmm. and the natural self, and that's what a Baumhaus should be. Mm -hmm. It is, after all, a thing of nature. It is a tree. It's a house, which mm -hmm. is a thing of social process, mm -hmm. building a house. I'm putting art in it, and other people will put art into it. We're going to make a beautiful place out of it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a place where you come, and where people are going to realize they can make a revolution. Mm -hmm. And not only can they make a revolution, but that we're going to make a revolution that is physically nicer to mm -hmm. be in than the revolution than, than what the the bourgeoisie and the rich people. And yeah, what you're saying too, it's, more, more, it's actually more and more is a revolution. It's more like an evolution. Okay. And what we're using, and the reason why we asked Isaac to do this, mm -hmm. right, is because we wanted to, we think cool. that this, yeah. well, he's cool too, man. You're totally cool. But like your work is like this <laughs> organic work. Yeah. It's like we're into this organic look. Yeah. You know, yeah. because like, look at us. We're like, it's not a single straight line on my body. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's nothing, what we, nothing and look, no you look circles. around Berlin, it's all square, and dot, 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 and everything's but all. Compared to <laughs> New York, not at all, though. Yeah. yeah. Where do you right. see? Where do you see squares? Do you see a straight line in Berlin? Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Look at that. Look, look at those. Look, look into the room we're in. Look at the huh? straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Lights. Straight line. It's like lines are everywhere. I don't see that. I see what the people br brought here, and there's no not, not a single straight line in it. Well, the architecture. I'm saying the architecture, okay. the rooms, okay. the space okay. itself. So what we're doing is we're laying down a context mm -hmm. of organic stuff. Okay. Of organic feeling and vibes and mm -hmm. ideas so people can chill and you know, like you okay. know come into you know like mm -hmm. people everybody likes avatar right yeah it's like everybody's on the same thing so um yeah but I, what, what was also inspiring is that we have we have some other musicians that mm -hmm. were that are here and we want mm -hmm. to do a little performance for okay. you right one of the guys made up a Baumhaus rap and we're gonna okay. like lay it out for you bring me in yeah we're gonna bring yeah. the boys in yeah and Isaac you wanted to do a you, drawing didn't you? you you live in Berlin no I live in I live about a hundred miles uh, north of New York City now. Okay, Dallas. Okay. I live on. Hello. 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 Tag. So, so, and then Granite. Tag. Isaac, can we show them? Tag. Tag. There you go. Tag. 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 Da boom. Tag. Tag. Hello. 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 You brauchst wahrscheinlich Mikrofon, nehme ich an. Ich brauche eins. Du brauchst eins. Ja. Moving right along. Huh? Moving right along. Okay. All right. All right. Wir können ihn euch einfach kurz selber an. Yeah, let's, let's do this. I think Isaac was going to do a live drawing. He's going to draw something for He's us right now. Yeah, perfect. He's going to draw something okay. beautiful for us as we speak. So if you want to set this okay, up, try. perfect. Guys, ganz kurz. Share it ganz kurz. Yeah, yeah. einmal ganz kurz. Wer bist du? Um, ich bin der lustige Vagabund. <laughs> der lustige. Schon mal ein guter Start, auf yeah. jeden Fall, glaubwürdig. Ja, yeah, ich bin Steven, ich mache die Beatbox. Steven macht die Beatbox? Ja, ich bin Wind und Raubenmensch. Wind und Ra Raupenmensch. Wind und Raupenmensch. Ja. Okay, das heißt, du bewegst dich? Uh, nee. Nee? nee. Nee? Okay, alles klar. Könnte ich dir beibringen? Ja. Habe ich gelernt. Nee, ist völlig, völliger Quatsch. Das Quatsch. Das ja, völliger leider das völliger das Quatsch. Okay. Alright, ich übergebe euch einfach mal das Mikrofon. Es klingt auf jeden Fall spannend. Ja. Baumhaus Rap. Und ich bin gespannt. Viel Spaß. Genau. Alright, check it out. Aha. Ich 
Arme lebe. Tag und Nacht. Es ist nicht los, das hat der Geist beim Schlafen stark. Die sind ne starke Kraft und helfen dir Ziele zu finden. Du musst Orakelhaftes mit deiner Liebe verbinden. Und dann wirst du sehen, dass dir sehr vieles gelingen kann. Doch leider stellen die meisten Leute ihre Träume hinten an. Haben eine heile Angst vor der Leidenschaft des Abschweifens und der visionären Geisteskraft. Ich bin nicht anders als sie. Entscheidungshüfte sind mein Standardmotiv. Doch Entscheidungen sind Schlagbäume und trennen es sich vom Wege. Auch wenn's an deine Nerven säge, mal deine Tagträume und fällt die Schlagbäume mit der Nervenschläge. Doch man weg nicht mehr schneller als deine Herzschläge. Denn dann fängt Existenzangst an. Wenn man denkt, man scheitert an sich selbst und kann sich ändern. Träume leben, auch in dir. Sie aufzuschreiben solltest du mal ausprobieren. Ganz und verklausuliert wie ein Bauchgefühl. Dafür musst du nicht auf einer falschen Couch posieren. Doch wie aussortieren, was ist Zukunftsweisen und nicht was ist. Wie gesagt, ich sag jetzt schon, was hat all die Gewicht, wenn du geneigt dazu bist. Kannst du den Kaffeesatz lesen, Tarotkarten fragen oder auch dein Horoskop lesen. Ah, doch ich mach keines von dem. Ich wollte meine Lebenslinien auf Reisen verstehen, denn meine eigene kleine Seele ist weit verbreitet. Deshalb werde ich an jedem weiteren Ort ein neues Teil kennen. Und viele denken, sie finden sich selbst im Lonely Planet bei einem Trip um die Welt. An die prominenten Plätze, doch so finden sie nur Leute, die dasselbe denken. Träumen heißt nicht folgen, sondern sich selbst beschenken. Wir bestehen aus Farben und Formen und was normal ist, ist eine Frage der Normen. Wir machen uns auf und wollen eine gute Figur machen, sind nicht nur so geboren, es hat soziale Ursachen. Unter Zinshaften alle Identitätsprodukte, doch viele haben kein Gefühl für Proportionen, deswegen entstehen so unzählige Fehlkonstrukte und verwirklich asymmetrische Personen. Yeah. <lacht> Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So, yeah, man. I have to admit, if uh, teacher, yeah, um, I have to admit, if, if you can create a mood like you did it here in the last like 30 or 40 minutes, oh. uh, it's getting really interesting what oh. you're doing there in That's Bahamas. It. I mean, yeah. uh, you played basketball. Yeah. You talked about the uh, uh, revolution <laughs> and uh, <laughs> mushrooms on pizzas. Uh, you talked about how to. How to break uh, break lines uh, in architecture and uh, mm -hmm. heard music, mm. so uh, it's uh, pretty pretty impressive. Pretty yeah. impressive. Thanks, man. Uh, when when does the project start? So how is uh, like what is the scope? When when can the people get involved? Well, is this, there already a people, chance we, to we need people to get involved right now okay. because this project, okay. right, okay. is a project to bring amazing things to the public, mm -hmm. right, that they mm -hmm. can use. Okay. And, and I'll just use in, in real life. Like this is social media. You mm -hmm. and me talking mm -hmm. together is live face mm -hmm. to Facebook, yeah. right? Face to yeah, yeah right? and that's yeah. what we're creating face to face. But yeah. we also have an online platform. Yeah. But the first thing to do is get. We've got all the architecture prepared. Mm -hmm. We've got the plans, the 3D model, the fly yeah. through. We've been through like yeah, really working the balance, the right, all this stuff. Yeah. But the, the part right now is raising the money. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to get to you know let people know that like you know every five euro that we get, every mm -hmm. ten euro that we get, mm -hmm. that people invest in this thing mm -hmm. is part of creating it as a reality. We mm -hmm. need people's help right now. And do you also need people that that uh, that are building on the platform? Sure, or? man. Yeah, yeah, people can come by. We have actually matter of fact in our in our for we still have uh, the kitchen design is open, mm -hmm. the cellar design is open, mm -hmm. stuff for the bathrooms. There's a few furniture oh, installations, sorry, sorry. all kinds of fun stuff. Thanks, man. Um, so like, we're asking people to come in and contribute their creativity, mm -hmm. like a real bomb house, mm -hmm. man. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to post your post your I mean already uh, link your your stuff. Um, all the information on the Facebook page that you that we yeah, posted. We got yeah, you got contact there. I, sure, I sure. So. Um, Leute, da draußen, wenn ihr das jetzt gesehen habt, es war ähm, jede Menge Sachen passieren, Sachen, die man nicht äh, vorher denkt. Zum Beispiel eine große Freude, dass hier äh, ein Basketballkorb hängt. Wenn euch das interessiert, äh, die suchen Leute jetzt schon, die helfen. Es gibt noch viel Sachen zu tun, extrem viele Dinge. <lacht> so, Leute, wenn ihr da helfen wollt, wenn ihr da involviert werden wollt in dem Projekt, ähm, sei es mit einer Spende oder aber auch äh, mit, ähm, äh, mit tatkräftiger Unterstützung, äh, mit, ich nehme an, ihr braucht auch, äh, I think you need, you, you can also need helping hands, right? Ja, yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Ähm, dann meldet euch doch einfach äh, und da kommt ihr, trefft ihr auf viel Gegenliebe und extrem viel Kreativität und... Äh, wenn ich es mal sagen darf, Spaß. Ja, yeah, natürlich. Hey, we got a video. Can we show a video here? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's dive into the video world. Yeah. Here we go, like real TV, man. Boom, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, wait, download? How is it? No, 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 no. Just. Yeah, okay. That's. 
Is there sound? How do you people understand? This the, the sound is getting directly. Okay, right, yeah. Simple. Tech dudes, funktioniert das? Haben wir das? Ja. Gut, ja, läuft alles. Ja. You can rewind it. No, it's okay. Yes. Look at it, it's a little slow. Oh, is that bit. not working? It's, uh, it's a little bit. slow. It's the idea. No, it's there good. Go. It's the idea that matters. It's the idea that we need to push for. It doesn't matter where we do it. Berlin happens to be a good place. They're giving it to us. They're giving us the keys to the city. The media, the corporations. Everybody, they're hyping all the latest trends. Co-working, co-creation, do it yourself, sustainability, community garden. Man, we gotta build a real something. What's it worth to you? Be part of something. Real. Something that can make a difference and make the world a better place. What's it worth to you? People like it like I do it. Yeah, man. Uh, I like it. Huh? You like it. <laughs> but guys, if you're yeah, unsure, cool, man. listen to this guy because that really makes fun. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Yeah, we've, yeah, we, yeah, we've got a, we've got a uh, live auction right now. Like okay. people can go people can go to our our, our website mm -hmm. baumhausberlin.de. Mm -hmm. All right, and then go to events, and under there, there's a live auction that runs till November 11th, 11-11, okay. which is the same day that our crowdfunding stops. Everything goes to that day. Okay. It's a big maximum. Okay. And, you know, if people want to make bids on art, yeah. they can do that, because artists are giving up their artwork. We're not giving up. It's a, we're doing a 50-50 split with artists, so okay. the artists get some money, we get some money, okay. everybody's cool, and it's all happy. And then in the end, we have a bomb house. In we got a bomb house, right. right? We all get so to use it and have fun. Now. Very nice. Boom. Cool. Right, so you leave that here. You get I'm all this stuff. Care. Huh? You get all this stuff. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Ah, so close. I, want, I think the blue if I, want, if I go, one. Uh, if I leave this room, I want to do it like this. Hit it like this. Right? Um, something I have to do in the morning. It's really important for me. You have to practice. Because the worst time here is in the morning. Because I, I really need to, really need to re rehab or re has the English word to re recharge re yeah recharge my energy mm -hmm. uh, but uh, um, at the same time I'm, I'm bored to death if I'm not talking with somebody uh -huh. uh, sometimes and uh, so now I know what I do <laughs> so when I leave this room this will be a hundred percent okay for well, three where's the bluey <laughs> yeah. Where's the bluey? Only from three point land, right? Everything's exactly. Po everything is possible. Right? That's what I say, man. From three point land. You just gotta get your stroke down on this. It's like very focused, concentrated, like every sport is. No, I think oh, you have to make it, you have to make it cool. So. Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll go with that, man. There you go. I'll go with that. I'll go with the sky hook. Something like this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, I slept there the first uh, night. Uh, uh, now I, I moved to uh, to the couch. So what gave you the idea to do this, man? Uh, myself. It's awesome because this is fun. I don't know which one of myself, but uh, <laughs> one of those. Um, from the left. Yeah. Uh, how, how is it so far? <laughs> You digging it or what, man? Are, is it, are people driving you crazy or is it just one adventure after another? Uh, no, it's, uh, as long as people are here, everything's good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I saw you sleeping, man. That, that looked like... Uh, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I say... Oh, oh no. Nice. Yeah. I saw that in. I saw that in, yeah. I saw it was in. Pose. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Hey! Nice. Oh, that's it. Who got it? Oh, nice. Who's that one? I drew a picture. Wow, that was beautiful. Wow, you guys are good. I'm like, I used to be good at this, but I'm like, I'm not so good at this anymore. Drawing pictures. 
Uh, for serious? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Slam the jammer. When I was a kid. Okay. Oh, for serious? In English, they call okay, it uh, doodling. Doodling, okay. And I started drawing pictures real serious in uh, like 19. <laughs> Trick shot. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Ooh, nice. 54. Nice oh, yeah, one. nice one. And I. Uh, oh. I would draw pictures. Shall I, shall I hold, hold it? it? Yes. Oh, that'd be if you good. want it, yeah, of course. <laughs> and I, I started drawing just ink. Hey, we got tea, don't we, or something? Coffee? Ink drawings like this. Mm -hmm. Of course, this drawing is a little more advanced than what mm -hmm. I was doing. But uh, I have hundreds of these drawings mm -hmm. that I did. And um, okay. I'll get this one. Okay. And it's like... Um, Answer the question. I used to just do these answer drawings. Answer the question. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's answer a gallery the now in Paris. Yeah, I already answered that one. To show mm -hmm. all these early drawings of mine. Okay. And uh, I found oh, out that they're actually in the a good gallery. They're very reputable, and they like to do things Take that are art historical bubble. stuff. Mm -hmm. Beginnings of tendencies and trends. Mm -hmm. well, and, and they feel the early drawings that I did, which I kept them all. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And a pen. I went over to this guy's house. And I expected to see a whole lot of things. This is not here. Mm -hmm. There was nothing. Mm -hmm. He had white walls mm -hmm. you know, and a few pieces of furniture, but each piece of furniture had a history. Black, uh -huh. white, black. So there would be, this is from the Vienna. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, so kind of kind of yeah. mm -hmm. So it was more. There was two interesting things he had in the dining room. Mm -hmm. Like next to the table was a samurai armor mm -hmm. with a mask with a mustache mm -hmm. and teeth. Mm -hmm. From 1670 or 80, at the height of the, what they call Tokugawa Shogunate. And he knew who made it and exactly what decade it was made in. And then he showed me white walls, a room with the shelves. Hello. Guys, meet Isaac. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Daniel again. Hey, what's this? What's this? Can I keep it? Ah, nice. Ah, nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Beautiful picture, right? Yeah, good. Dude, you said that you're going to have to do the LSD erfahrung. You're going to have to do the LSD erfahrung. You're going to have to do the LSD erfahrung. You're going to have to do the LSD erfahrung. They haven't heard you that you were talking about LSD, but they brought the right color for it. That was great. Oh, yeah. Actually, my favorite colors. It's cool. Green. Oh, and the earth. Okay. A lot of the pink colors. Psychedelic colors. Psychedelic colors. I really like. Yeah, I can nails. How many nails do you need? One. Where's all the nails you had in your pocket? Nature, in its deepest level, and that's what it it unified me in that way. That's what brought me out of the modern world and into a future where the world. Is technologically advanced and naturally harmonious. It is. So we're not making a lot of pollution. Mm -hmm. We make beautiful things, and we keep the world a healthy and beautiful place. I have grandchildren, so I have a personal interest. <laughs> Keeping the world right. <laughs> a planet. I don't think I'm going to be here long enough for the planet to completely destroy itself. But it's doing a pretty good job right now. Okay. You know, and so on. Right. And everything. But I want to just tell you what this yeah. guy had on the wall. I was in this place yeah. in Paris. <laughs> Man, he's an art dealer. He has a room with no, it's just white with shelves, and on the shelves are human skulls. Okay. But only one is normal, like a regular round skull. The other ones were from South America, and they were Inca. Okay. And the Inca kings, or whatever they call them. And when they when the nobility was born, like the Chinese would put, keep the feet small, mm -hmm. they would put boards on the head and for the first 10 years of their life, when their heads were growing, mm, yeah. they would shape it and here were these To what form? Really? Like, like it, they looked like insects and uh, you could see the skull and then instead of being this way, it was like, whoa, like this. And they were like, on the scale of one to 10 on Freaky, well, straight, not high. 
<laughs> Let's do it high. <laughs> high, holding these in your hands when you were high, you'd go like, you'd go to 11. you go to, oh, you'd go to 11. To the impossible 11? Yeah, there's 11s. There are 11s. There are 11. <laughs> when you get so high, you know, you come right back around to the beginning. And, uh, but this was like, uh, Okay, these were like one, nine five, nine six, nine five, nine eight. You know, they were like. Whoa! Okay. First in, first out. Now can he jump? Right. Right. Can he jump? Damn, yeah. man, this guy's good. <laughs> good run of cards, yo. But that was That's what like, I saw yeah, there. Question, okay. man. And now I'm in Berlin. Which is how long? Very how long will you stay in Berlin? Until the eighth of November. Eighth of November. And then I'm going back after the American uh, election. These. You already voted. Yes, I did. I voted for Obama. Yeah. Didn't didn't thought that. You didn't think so. Uh, I no. thought I thought you were more like after after we talked now for half an hour. I thought you were more like a mid, typical Mitt Romney guy. Well, you know, if I could, <laughs> you know, if I could somehow arrange for Mitt Romney, you know, to be caught having sex with a dog. <laughs> You know, on TV, you know what I mean? I would do it, you know, if I could figure it out. But I think he's not going to have it. Okay. So I'm going back if, if to celebrate with my wife if Obama wins and to, you know, to start fighting again if he loses. That's what you do for decades now, huh? Huh? That's what you do for decades now, isn't it? I'll do something. I always do. But it'll be cool. I like it. My cover story all these years, I never got into trouble, was I'm a psychedelic artist. Yeah. That was my cover story. Yeah. And, and I always thought nobody would ever bother me, and they never did, because okay. I was so out with it, you know. I used to come, I came through customs into the many countries with like leather jackets with all these mm -hmm. glitter discs and long hair and a beard and all this kind of stuff and velvet patch pants and sashes and boots and okay. they never ever 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 stopped me once it's good i mean it's like, how could you stop this person he was too nuts you know yeah. too obvious right yeah. i mean it's a fantastic it, it, all the things that you're telling is like I can. I, I have the feeling that uh, I can feel it. What all the things that you tell tell me. Um, thanks. Not for the moment for me. Um, uh, I had so much fruit this morning. So. And then bitten. I'll leave it here. Okay. okay. Um, so that's really thanks. Um, it's really it's amazing. I mean, you born. You say you're born in 90, uh, uh, 1993, uh, 39, 39, and. Um, I'd be very I mean, old if you, I was born in 1993. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's maybe your Facebook old. identity. Uh, but uh, and I mean, so much, so much experience. Uh, and um, one thing that that I would like you to ask that I would like you to ask for because I'm going to live here for another um, uh, six day, yeah, five and a half days. Yeah. Um, imagine you live in a in a room with cameras for 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have an um, advice? Advice for you? Mushroom pizza? <laughs> I would say drink plenty of water. Yeah, okay. I would say that, you know. Drink plenty of water, try and get enough sleep, you know. Yeah. Not let it get crazy, you know. But essentially, just be yourself and drink plenty of water. Okay. Good. That's, then I'm on the right road. That's pretty right road. much, you know, under any circumstances where there's a lot of potential stress, mm -hmm. be true drink, to yourself and drink and, and plenty of water. <laughs> That's, I really love that. <laughs> but, <laughs> as a, if you do huh? those two things, you know, you're going to, you know, keep, keep your kidneys working and, you know, drink plenty of water. Like keep your kidneys working? Yeah, like, you know, okay. get your, don't let your toxins build up and don't okay. get too tight and you know, okay. stuff like that. Okay. That's my advice. How, how often are you in, uh, in Berlin? Uh, as often as I'm invited and have a reason to be here, okay. I, I was here like uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think I, oh, I came here because a, a friend of mine who's much older than me mm -hmm. was over here in a fellowship. He's now 84. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was living somewhere near Potsdam place. And he said, come on. And I came and we hung out for a week or 10 days. I met some really nice people, 
and uh, it was enjoyable. And I think I was in Berlin twice before that. The first time I was in Berlin was on my first honeymoon, which was in August of 1961. Mm -hmm. And we were in England, and instead of going to Paris, we decided to come to Berlin because we got married the day they began the, began the Berlin Wall. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we got here on the fifth day mm -hmm. of the construction of the Berlin Wall. So I actually saw them building really? the Berlin Wall. Yeah. Ooh. And we, we were here for, my ex-wife says, three days, and I think we're here for five days. Okay. And I took my ass. So how time, many so. how many honeymoons have you had since that? Uh, I'm, go uh, I'm going to have another one. <laughs> uh, after number, I got married in the end of June. Uh, okay. Our honeymoon is going to be going to April in Paris. Okay. For this show. At this time, Paris. Paris. This, uh, so this time Berlin was Paris. not working. <laughs> Yeah, this she time likes. Paris. She likes. I think she'll like Paris. But we'll come. We'll we, we'll be in Europe maybe a month for this, and we'll come okay. and visit. I would love to do that, and maybe I'll come and talk to you again and give you. Yeah. I'll let you know where I build up my camera. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So you're gonna be here another six days. So another six days. So this yeah. is the third day, and I'm going to stay eight days. Still Friday, next Friday. I, I met. I know a woman who lives in the town I live in. Uh, I know her slightly, and uh, Miss Abramovich. You no, know, her name is Montano. Montano, and she was tied to a guy mm -hmm. by a six-foot-long rope for a year. A living guy or a dead guy? A living guy, I think. Dead ones smell after a while, and they're hard to. You can't go out. I mean, you got a dead guy who's starting to rot. But you can't go anywhere. Well. Yeah, okay, but I'm sure lots of them, uh, lots of people would prefer a dead guy. I mean, six with it. I'm sure they would for be. a whole year. For a year, a whole year. But on the free, on a free will, or yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Each, they had agreed to do it. Okay. It was an art piece. Okay. You know, and I, you know, it's like. People do all kinds of things to be art now, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. so that's the story. Mal doch noch mal ein bisschen pinke Sachen auf die Wand da, bitte. So what is all the pink now? Huh? What's all the pink? Don't know. It's okay. They came in to do Mehr so von diesen schönen Strichen. <laughs> Ja, ist halt Künstlerin, weißt du? Ja. Das darfst du nicht so in Frage stellen. Mhm. Ich stelle das gar nicht in Frage. Ich erkenne total den Sinn da drin. Also wenn es geht, das wäre wirklich super. Ähm, zusammenhängende Flächen vielleicht. Ich werde eigentlich zurückkommen, weil ich möchte es wissen, was es ist, wenn es um die Geschichte geht. Okay, so das wird das wird definitiv ein Ort, wo wir uns sehen. Das ist definitiv ein Ort, wo wir uns sehen. Vielleicht sollten wir etwas Schönes machen. Du machst etwas aus da. Yeah. That might be a, a nice thing to do. Absolutely. A Absolutely. different kind of environment, you know. I, you know, I'd like really to see an environment there that's actually beautiful. Yeah. I don't hear the word beautiful being used very much yeah. in art right now. Yeah. They talk about all kinds of stuff. And I'm very much like the art for art's sake, making things that are beautiful if possible. Mm -hmm. Making the world literally just beautiful. And I think beauty has a lot to do with it. Yeah, I'm going to say bye. You know, tack, tack. Yeah. This Juvik, it means Schildkröte. Schildkröte, all right. Thank you very much. Bye. Vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Vielen Dank, so, zack, zack. Und viel Spaß noch. You go too, Isaac, all right. My last words on the subject. Yeah? I like to see more beautiful stuff. And the Baumhaus is going to be beautiful. And I like to see a revolution that's natural, sexy, beautiful. And affordable. Okay, I try my best. <laughs> We're all doing our best. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you too, but have a nice day. You do. Be good. Huh? Yeah, drink enough water. Yeah, I have plenty of water. Did I leave anything here? Sincerely, unfortunately not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Goodbye. God, are you still there? Großartig. Ja, Dafür hat man ja. Freunde. Ja. Vielen Dank. Ähm, wir lassen dir das hier, wenn das du abends irgendwie mal ja. Langeweile hast, dann kannst du das ist super. großflächiger auch mal. Ich zu bezweifeln, dass sie. Ja, danke schön. Bitte sehr. Vielen Dank. Das ist total nett von euch. Wenn wir uns lange Gedanken das ist, gemacht, ja, die du vorstellen kannst. Ja, und, ähm, merkt man total. Ist auch wirklich das Schönste, was ich jetzt bisher gesehen habe an der Wand. Vielen Dank, Erik. Mach's gut. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Ja. Ich, 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 du sollst dich mit ihm connecten, because she wants to, she wants to go to Paris.
Paris as well, as you see, as you see uh, she's already preparing. Uh, uh, L'amour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isaac brings it to Paris. Oh, I want to have one as well. Of course you do, yeah. Thanks. I give people Thanks, cards, sir. I get them made, and then I put <laughs> yeah. them on the wall. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. And for six days, it will I'm be gonna, give it to me, I fix it. I fix okay, it, beautiful. I fix it. Oh, okay. There we go. So, Isaac, thank you very much. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, this was really, it was much better than I anticipated. It was really fun. Thanks. Have a nice day. Thank Scott, yeah. thank, thank, thank you very much. Have a nice day. This was a cool and uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward. You can see me playing uh, with the ball. Uh, there's only one ball. There's two. They're all done? All right. All right. The blue one somewhere. All right. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.